two, three, four. My name is Frédéric Cherki, and I will present you an innovative water level monitoring system developed under the Mine for Stormwater project. Funded by the European Union and involving researchers from the University of Wuhan in Salyon, the University of Melbourne, and in partnership with Melbourne Water. To go straight into the subject, stormwater control measures are now aging and monitoring seems to date the best solution for their management. Given the number, size, and cost of such assets, the question is how to decrease monitoring costs in order to offer massive increase in spatial and temporal data resolution. If we can only monitor one parameter, water level seems to, most, seems to be the most informative. Low-cost technologies are not so new anymore and have already revolutionized other fields such as air quality monitoring. There is clearly a trend in using low-cost and IoT technology to make any system or asset smart. Maybe the strain is going too much sometimes. The advance of low-cost monitoring opened the potential for an entirely new approach where sensory networks measure various aspects of the state and performance of water infrastructure. System underpinned by low-cost sensor mean that the monitoring and control functionality previously limited to critical water infrastructure can now be applied to a broader range of water infrastructure. But it's not only about the price of the system. Uh, that's not only the only innovation in monitoring. Recent technological advances can support the development of monitoring system, including falling costs, miniaturization, ease of access, modularity, and open source programming. One other key innovation is the near real-time monitoring, where measurements are accessible remotely and directly. Our work encompasses the whole monitoring chain, as shown in the slide, from the test and selection of sensors, the development of the monitoring system, to the management of data from case studies. So far, several prototypes have been developed based on the most common monitoring situation. We have mostly focused on water level monitoring as the most complete and reliable source to inform on the overall operation of the system. The aim is to adapt the monitoring system to the requirements. That is to say, enough monitoring accuracy and real-time access to the data for the lowest cost and the minimal maintenance requirements. We consider a wide range of objective and context from minimal system with basic monitoring possibilities and cost below 100 euros, to smart system with remote control capability and where change will trigger automatic action and from highly urbanized and connected area to remote areas. Let's focus on the simple and low-cost water level logger that we developed. The specification were as following, a measure of the water level every 15 minutes, the lowest cost even if the precision is decreased up to two centimeter maximum, a small and invisible system that will not draw, that will not draw attention, a system energically 100% self-sufficient, access to the data online as soon as, soon as it's measured, and less component, simple code, so to have a system as simple as possible. Regarding the sensor selection, after lab testing, we decided to choose the GSN SR040 ultrasonic sensor because of its very low cost, its pretty correct performances, the measurement range, the robustness of the sensor, and its low maintenance requirements. If you want to know more uh, on our lab testing and the result from the different sensor, please read the reference indicated in the, in the bottom of the slide. Here are two pictures of the monitoring system that we've developed and the different components. The air temperature sensor is used to correct the speed of sound and thus correct the distance measure with the ultrasonic sensor. The nano timer relay is vital for reducing reduction of the power consumption and enable the system to run with only three AA batteries and a small solar panel. On this slide, you also have the price of the different components. 
that's the order of magnitude of, of the price. Um, if we look at the enclosure of the system, now it's installed on site. Uh, here are some pictures of the wall enclosure system. Um, as you can see, each part of the system can, can fit in tubes. And, and so it's possible to remove and open the system without tools and then put it back at the same location and without damaging the ceiling. As shown, the antenna is within the PVC pipe and thus invisible from outside. Uh, a chart here to show the voltage of the system every 15 minutes. Every day, thanks to the solar panel, the sun will increase the voltage and recharge the batteries. The increasing trend in the first months is because the battery were not fully charged at the start of the monitoring. This trend corresponds also to the spring period in Melbourne, where the system, this system has been installed. Some other chart to show the parameters that are collected. On site, the parameters are the water level, the air temperature, the battery voltage. Other parameters are gathered from the closest weather station, the cumulated rainfall, and the air temperature and relative humidity. All these parameters are combined together online from the site and from the weather station and accessible with an online platform as shown below. Um, the near real-time monitoring allows to develop enhanced action such as alerts when the system is down or, or when a specific water level is reached. We have also developed an easy way to define the offset and compare the measurement with readings from the staff gauge when we are on site. The Develop Expert system is the proof of concept that stormwater control measure can be monitored with limited resources in real time or near real time, providing effective solution for the long-term performance and maintenance of such systems. The key message is that innovating monitoring system could be game-changing strategy in the next year. The possibility to know in real time the state of a system and to trigger manual or automatic action based on its state or other parameters, such as rain prediction, is becoming a reality even for small systems, such as uh, stormwater control measure. I can see a near future where assets are continuously optimized to provide the best performance at the lowest cost. It's not only about optimizing the operation of the system, but also concern asset management, where monitoring can enable to act before any failure or trigger maintenance action remotely or automatically. Such expert system could also be applied to other water infrastructures. For all the system developed, all the material is fully available on the different platform of the project, including the codes, which are in the GitHub repository, all the data produced is also publicly available in real time. Please visit our website if you want to know more and do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for your attention.